can't really win. Arnhem was a lost cause too. There were so many wounded British soldiers by the fourth day of the siege that the Germans sportingly arranged a ceasefire so they could be evacuated. Kane could have gone. He was a wreck. He was half blind, he was half deaf, his legs were perforated with machine gun and shrapnel wounds. But he chose to stay, and that meant he was still here on the fifth day of the siege. <laughs> This, in the Germans' eyes, was doomsday, the day when they'd mount their biggest push. They threw everything at the British. Tanks, artillery, flamethrowers, mortars, the lot. The British had arrived in Arnhem with supplies for three days. This was their ninth and the fifth in the hell of Oosterbeek. It was shaping up to be the shortest firefight in history. But Major Kane had other ideas. Kane found himself down by the church, and pretty soon he was out of ammunition for his Piat. So he switched to a mortar like this. Now, the idea of a mortar is that you jam it into the ground, you drop the shell into the tube, it fires up in the air and lands on the German positions. But the Germans were so close that he was firing it like this, like a normal gun. Now imagine what that must have looked like from a German's point of view. This man with his trousers blown off, caked in blood with sticky stuff coming down the side of his face, firing a mortar horizontally at you. It must have been unnerving. In Kane's VC citation, it says of the events of that day, by a skillful use of this weapon and his daring leadership of the few men still under his command, he completely demoralised the enemy, who, after an engagement lasting more than three hours, withdrew in disorder. Robert Kane had turned the tide in the battle, and this is another vital factor in winning a Victoria Cross. Your actions have to create a ripple effect. They have to help save the day. On the Monday... It was the final day of the battle, and the Germans, that was 9th SS Panzer Division, had been trying for since the Friday to break Major Kane's block because that was the key to cutting us off from the, the whole division off from the river, and we would have been finished. We all knew that. I mean, it was obvious to us all, but he made sure that they didn't get through um, to his great credit. His action had tremendous impact on the troops as a whole and probably uh, helped them keep their resolve and help win the battle out of proportion to the size of his own personal command. It was the most wonderful example to everyone. A major firing at tanks is, is something you don't hear of, really. We all wanted to emulate him, of course, um, which we tried to do to our best ability. The, the effect that uh, Major Robert Kane had on the men was obviously his leadership and the fact that they were on the defensive, but he was moving, he was uh, showing himself, he was rallying where there was the greatest danger, and that has the most uh, huge impact upon people who have just got to stay there and endure and be brave. They need something to focus upon. He was that focus. He led by example completely. I mean, I'm sure that... Whoever got back over that river of the South Staffords could owe that fact to Bob Kane and nobody else because it was his example that rallied them. His bravery was suicidal and utterly selfless. His tank-killing antics rallied the troops, beat off the enemy and helped keep the defences at Osterbeek intact. These were the reasons why this man won a Victoria Cross. And not just any VC either. According to his commanding officer, Lieutenant Colonel Derek McCarty, it was the finest Victoria Cross of the whole war. After the Germans withdrew, the British, out of ammo, food and ideas, and knowing by this stage that the Second Army wasn't coming, silently crossed the river at night to safety. Kane knew they were retreating, but he didn't want to look beaten. 
when they were in utter defeat by the river, withdrawing over the river, the battle was lost. He found a razor and somehow he shaved so that at least he would go back looking respectable and like an officer above his men. Amazing man. <laughs>